In 184 AC, as King Aegon Targaryen IV lay in his deathbed, he decreed the legitimization of all his bastard children, a radical proclamation that would have drastic repercussions for many years to come. After the death of the king, his firstborn son, Daeron II, inherited the throne and would prove a wise and progressive ruler, filling his court with maesters and scholars and setting himself to the great task of cleaning up the corrupt and incompetent administration handed down by his father. He was also a man of peace, building good relations with Dorne, a realm with which they had recently fought a devastating war. Daeron had married Mariah Martell as part of the peace agreement, and when he inherited the Iron Throne, the Dornish influence of his wife would take root in the Red Keep. Daeron also sought to make permanent peace with their southern neighbors, and in 188 AC, he married his sister, Princess Daenerys Targaryen, to Prince Meryn Martell, thereby making Dorne a part of Westeros through a marriage alliance. Yet these changes and declarations of peace did not sit well with all of the Seven Kingdoms. Many had lost loved ones in the wars against Dorne and had no desire for peace. Many also questioned the Dornish influence of his wife on the Targaryen court of King's Landing and sought a return to the days where honorable lords and modest ladies roamed the halls of the Red Keep. Further, after nearly 200 years of rule, many houses of Westeros had grievances against Targaryen leadership and sought an alternative. And so it would be that Daemon Blackfire, the bastard son of King Aegon IV, would become their champion. Born Daemon Waters, he was the illegitimate son of a young Aegon IV and his cousin, Dana the Defiant. At the age of 12, Daemon was already proving to be a tremendous warrior, having distinguished himself in a tournament, and so impressed the king that he officially acknowledged the boy as his son and gifted him the Valyrian steel sword Blackfire, which had been held by their ancestor, the first Targaryen king, Aegon the Conqueror, and his heirs. Daemon would proudly take the name Blackfire for his house and display an inverted Targaryen sigil for his banner. Many would come to admire Daemon Blackfire, seeing him as everything Daeron was not, a valiant warrior they would be proud to follow into battle. Daemon was also very charismatic and charming, comporting himself with honor and dignity. Although King Daeron was sure to treat his siblings with respect, granting them the lands and titles they were due, given their status as legitimized children of the king, his attempts at appeasement would ultimately fail. In 196 AC, after many powerful nobles had spent years pressuring Daemon Blackfire to declare, he united with his half-brother Agor Rivers and a number of powerful houses, proclaiming himself the true king of Westeros and rightful heir to Aegon IV. Officially, House Blackfire made their claim on the basis of an old rumor that stated King Daeron was actually fathered by Aemon the Dragon Knight, who was known to have been in love with his mother Nares. In addition, the rebel supporters claimed Aegon IV had chosen Daemon as his heir when he granted him the Blackfire Sword, which was known as the Sword of the King. Throughout the year, violence erupted in Westeros, with the Riverlands seeing the bulk of the fighting. Sir Quentin Ball led many of the early assaults in the Westerlands, killing Lord Lefford at Lannisport and sending Lord Daemon Lannister into retreat. He also defeated the men of House Penrose while crossing the Mander River. The war then culminated in the Battle of the Redgrass Field, where the rebel forces of House Blackfire engaged against the loyalist warriors of House Targaryen. As the two armies clashed, Daemon Blackfire fought a duel with Sir Gwain Corbray, wielding the Valyrian steel sword Lady Forlorn. The two fought for nearly an hour before Daemon finally struck the man down. Yet the Blackfire King's sense of honor would not allow for such a worthy foe to pass away, and so ordered that Sir Gwain be taken off the battlefield to be healed. However, this act of chivalry would prove his downfall, as his actions gave time for Raven's Teeth, the archer company led by Brynden Rivers, to reach the top of Weeping Ridge and fire arrows down upon Daemon Targaryen and his eldest sons, Aegon and Aemon, killing all three. Aegor Rivers, also known as Bittersteel, then led his men to cut a bloody path through Raven's Teeth, fighting a duel with Brynden Rivers and proving the victor by taking out his half-brother's eye. But it was too late. Daemon Blackfire was dead and Targaryen forces were routing the rebel army. Bittersteel then led the retreat of their remaining forces, collecting the sword Blackfire as well as Daemon's surviving sons and boarding ships to travel east, seeking refuge in Essos. Though it had come at a high cost, with over 10,000 men killed at the Battle of the Red Grass Field, King Daeron II and House Targaryen had defeated the first Blackfire Rebellion. 
but Agor Rivers was not prepared to admit defeat, instead regrouping and preparing House Blackfire and their supporters for another attempt at taking the Iron Throne. In order to sustain their forces in the many years they would need to build up and resupply their army, and to avoid losing knights and warriors to other mercenary groups, Bittersteel formed the Golden Company, earning a reputation for having thousands of well-trained warriors and always honoring their contracts. In 211 AC, Daemon Blackfire II, eldest living son of Daemon Blackfire I, attended the Tournament of White Walls, where he planned to gather support to begin the Second Blackfire Rebellion. However, his plans were discovered, allowing for Hand of the King Brynden Rivers to lead an army to the castle and arrest the claimant king. For reasons not yet known, Agor Rivers and the Golden Company had not joined Daemon Blackfire II in his attempt to take the throne, with Bittersteel instead focusing his attention on preparing Daemon Blackfire II's younger brother, Hagon, for the crown. In 219 AC, House Blackfire launched the Third Blackfire Rebellion, invading Westeros with the Golden Company. Future kings Prince Makar and Aegon, as well as the infamous Prince Aerion Brightflame and Hand of the King Brynden Rivers, valiantly led Targaryen forces against the Blackfire invaders, successfully defeating them and sending them into retreat. Hagon, the claimant king, upon seeing the defeat of his forces, surrendered, tossing his weapon to the ground. But it did not save him, and he was dishonorably killed while weaponless. Aegor Rivers was taken alive, arrested, and dragged before the Targaryen court in King's Landing, where both Bloodraven and Aerion Brightflame advocated for his execution. But the elderly King Aerys I overruled them and chose exile in the Night's Watch for the rebel leader. Yet the Golden Company remained free and loyal to Bittersteel and House Blackfire, and so they attacked the ship carrying their leader to the Wall, rescuing him and traveling to Tyrosh, where he crowned Hagon's son, Daemon Blackfire III, as the true King of Westeros. In in 236 AC, Aegor Rivers made his final attempt to defeat House Targaryen and replace them with House Blackfire, leading the Golden Company to an invasion of Westeros, landing their troops at Massey's Hook in the Crownlands. However, the fourth Blackfire Rebellion had little success, with House Blackfire unable to attract any significant lords to their cause. At the Battle of Wendwater Bridge, Targaryen forces thoroughly defeated the Blackfire rebels, with Sir Duncan the Tall killing Daemon Blackfire III in battle. Aegor Rivers once again survived the fighting and retreated with his forces across the narrow sea. Bittersteel would die only a few years later, fighting in the disputed lands during a conflict between Tyrosh and Myr. On his deathbed, he ordered that when he died, the Golden Company should boil the flesh from his skull, dip it in gold, and carry it as their banner when they eventually launched their final invasion of Westeros to take the Iron Throne for House Blackfire. The mercenary company would obey their founder and follow his example, remaining staunch supporters of the Blackfires and honoring their leader's memory through their war cry, beneath the gold, the bitter steel. Many years later, the last two descendants of the male line of House Blackfire, in Daemon Blackfire and his cousin Maelys the Monstrous, engaged in a battle to the death over the leadership of the Golden Company, with Maelys emerging victorious. In 258 AC, rumors began to reach Westeros of a group called the Band of Nine, made up of ambitious merchants and pirates who had made an alliance with House Blackfire to invade Westeros and take the Iron Throne. They began by invading Tyrosh in 259 and setting up the Stepstones as their base of operations for a future invasion. However, wise King Jaehaerys II was aware of their plans and launched a preemptive attack against Blackfire forces. In 260 AC, Hand of the King Lord Ormond Baratheon led a Targaryen army to the Stepstones, launching the War of the Ninepenny Kings, also known as the Fifth Blackfire Rebellion. Many of the nobles of Westeros participated in this war, with Quellyn Greyjoy of the Iron Islands sending a hundred longships, and the Westerlands under Tytos Lannister sending 11,000 warriors. Lord Ormond's son, Stephen Baratheon, would also fight in the war, alongside his friends Tywin Lannister and the future king, Prince Aerys Targaryen. Brynden Blackfish Tully also distinguished himself in the war, as did a young Barristan Selmy who cut a bloody path through the Golden Company to reach Maelys the Monstrous, defeating him in single combat. Sir Barristan's victory marked an end to the Fifth Blackfire Rebellion, and the young knight was awarded with a place in the King's Guard for his heroic actions. However, House Blackfire had faced a devastating loss, losing the last descendant of the male line and leaving the Golden Company without Blackfire leadership. And while many believed this was the end for 
the Blackfire Rebels. Some have recently come to suggest that the dream of Daemon Blackfire I and Aegor Rivers may yet be realized. This speculation concerns the female line of House Blackfire, which may have continued beyond the death of Meles the Monstrous, and that Illyrio Mopatis, a wealthy merchant of Pentos, may have married a Blackfire descendant in his wife, Sarah, who may have given birth to a son whom they named Aegon. With the help of Illyrio's friend, Varys, and the Targaryen loyalist, John Cunnington, unaware of the boy's Blackfire heritage, Aegon was trained to be a great warrior and wise king, all the while being lied to about his true parentage by John Cunnington and Illyrio, who told the boy he was the last surviving son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Elia Martell. In this way, Varys and Illyrio might secure the support of Westerosi lords and have a valid claim for Aegon's legitimacy. In addition, the Golden Company signed a contract with Illyrio many years earlier, when they were under the leadership of Miles Blackheart Toyne, a descendant of House Toyne, who lost their lands and power to House Targaryen during the reign of Aegon IV. His deep hatred for the Targaryens, coupled with the Golden Company's history as supporters of House Blackfire, made it unlikely they would support a Targaryen for the throne. And indeed, the Golden Company had already turned down a Targaryen descendant, when young Viserys attempted to court them into supporting a Targaryen in restoration. Speculating even further, there are some who claim Varys himself might be a Blackfire, who was castrated as a child in order to prevent him from ever fathering children and continuing the Blackfire line. In 300 AC, Aegon and the Golden Company invaded the Stormlands, taking advantage of the chaos in the Seven Kingdoms following the devastation of the War of the Five Kings, and began conquering various territories. The realms of Westeros must now prepare for this newest claimant king, who may in fact be a secret Blackfire, covertly and unknowingly launching the Sixth Blackfire Rebellion. A special thanks to all those who have contributed to Civilization X. You make these videos possible, and I am eternally grateful for your support. If you would like to help Civilization X and want to say in the future content of this channel, click on the Patreon link in the description box below and pledge any amount you'd like on a monthly basis. Or if you'd prefer to make a single donation, you can use the PayPal link also in the description below. And please be sure to like and subscribe and click on the links to see more.